Like with all my recent what ifs, I guess I just gotta say, hold up, wait a minute, I'll explain. It might sound a little outrageous, I mean, Kakashi is not quite the family person. The last time he was, we all know how that ended, especially with his dad, and, well, his teammates, and master, but, anyways, so, he's basically just gonna have another shot at it, but that'll come with time. First, let's start our story, at a place that we're all quite familiar with, the hospital. This is basically two weeks after the Ninetales attack, and here, Hiruzen would already be looking for someone to care for young Naruto. Now, obviously, he could go in an orphanage, but is that really morally correct? Hiruzen thought. Would it really be okay to send Minato's child, who was the fourth Hokage, who risked his life for the village time and time again, and was a hero amongst all of us? Is it really morally okay to send his child into an orphanage? There are so many other people who might be willing to adopt Minato's child if only they knew. If only they truly knew that this was his child. But yet, if they did, horror would break out. Any person that had some sort of bad blood between them and Minato they would probably try to kill Naruto, and with no one around to protect him, that would not go well. But perhaps if a shinobi adopted Naruto, someone that could actually protect him, perhaps... Mm, what about young Kakashi? He is single, but he has lost so much, especially with the Ninetales attack now. His mentor is gone, so perhaps it would be the right thing for him to have someone new that he cared about. As an Anbu fetched Kakashi for an, a special type of mission, is what they called it, as he was in a room with Hiruzen looking at Naruto's cradle. You called me, my lord? I ask Kakashi, take off your mask, will you? As Kakashi was still in full Anbu gear. This is a little bit special. As you know, this is Minato and Kushina's child. Yes, Lord Hiruzen, I know. And so I was wondering who could take care of this child? Um, I don't know. All of his family is, well, gone. Yes, that might be true, Hiruzen said. But what if someone else could adopt him? Perhaps someone in this room? You want to adopt Naruto? I mean, I'm not gonna say no, but you are quite old. No silly, I don't mean me. Maybe you. Me? Kakashi stopped. Me adopting? How would that go? But... Kakashi rebuttaled, I'm way too young to have a child, and he sure as hell could not go for a brother, he's way too young. And you know I'm single, right? You think I can work and take care of a child myself? There's no way in hell. Yes, yes, always you young people with all these excuses. But don't you think, after having lost so, so much, so many people around you, Perhaps it's time to move on. Perhaps being an Anbu has caused you too much pain already. As Kakashi thought about all the times that he killed someone, or that one of his teammates got killed instead, as well as the deaths of Rin, Obito, and Minato and Kushino, as well as the obvious one, his own father. My lord, I tell you completely openly. I'm not ready to adopt someone. That's it. The question was not if you're ready, Kakashi. It was if you're willing to try. Trying will always lead to some sort of success, Hiruzen said. You don't have to be a great father. You don't have to be anything like Minato could have been. 
and if you really want, you can be an older brother, even if the age difference is quite a lot. Be who you want to be, but I believe that leaving Naruto to you is the best choice. Think about it, and let me know. As another week passed, with Kakashi not doing any of his duties, missions, just thinking. Is this what Minato would have wanted? Is this my way of repaying him? Could this really heal me, as Hiruzen said? Do I have to move on? All these thoughts circling around young Kakashi's mind. But he came to a decision. Exactly seven days after Hiruzen's offer was made, he decided he'll give it his best. I might not be great, but Hiruzen did say that there will be some sort of success no matter what I do. So, why not? Let's do it, Hiruzen. I'm gonna adopt Naruto. Oh, is it Naruto Namikaze, right? Since that was Minato's last name. Well, technically it would be, Hiruzen started, but that would, well, lead to a lot of problems. With all the people Minato fought and killed in his life, perhaps that would not be great. With Minato now gone, any village or person that still has a grudge against him would go after Naruto. Even entire villages like the Stone Village might still have a problem with Naruto Namikaze. Since, well, you yourself know how the third shinobi w or went. And so, perhaps, Naruto Uzumaki is a better fit. Sure, he doesn't look like one, but he is half Uzumaki after all. And so, it's not completely lying. It's just untraditional to have Kushina's name as said. Alright then, whatever you say. I'm adopting Naruto Uzumaki. Great! Now we just have to do the paperwork. As Hiruzen and Kakashi immediately stopped smiling and started to do the paperwork for adoption. Though it wasn't much since, well, obviously Naruto didn't have any family that had to accept. So after 15 minutes, Kakashi was ready and took Naruto home. Then realizing that his home was not ready to have a child at all. Now, obviously, Kakashi was an incredible shinobi, and so over the years, we're just gonna assume that he had been building up some savings. And so, some days passed, some weeks, and even some months. No one knew about Minato or Kushina's child, except for, of course, a select few, Hiruzen, Kakashi, but not even the councils knew. But Danzo did. But for now, he wouldn't say anything. Naruto and Kakashi slowly got, well, accustomed to each other, and so they got used to living together. Kakashi actually cared for Naruto. <clears throat> Hiruzen. That was not subtle, I'm genuinely calling him out, because Hiruzen is a horrible person in canon. Like, jokes aside, he was actually kind of disgustingly mean. Anyways, but now life could continue, and so Naruto and Kakashi living together would actually be quite a good time. Kakashi would slowly turn, well, to the good side. Not in any Jedi, Star Wars kind of way, but he himself felt like his time of an Anbu was behind him, and so he left the Anbu becoming an actual, well, Chunin for now, but later on would become a Joni, simply because he's very powerful. And a small thing for now is I'm going to say that since Kakashi actually has someone to care about now, he's gonna train more, simply because he knows that Naruto will probably be a quite the wanted person when he grows up, and so Kakashi needs to be able to protect him, at least as long as he can protect himself. In the future, he'll probably become quite strong, but for now, he needs Kakashi's help. And so he actually became stronger as well. Keep that in mind for later. But sadly, life can't always be rainbows and sunshine, and so Danzo obviously had to say that Naruto was the Nine Tails and was a demon. Not he was in Jinchuriki, but he was a demon. 
And so everyone started hating him, similar to, well, the canon. No one knew about his, well, family, Minato, Kushina, all that. And so people actually started believing that he was the Nine Tails, and slowly but surely, everyone started hating him. And for a while, he even thought that Kakashi would start hating him. But obviously, that would never happen. Similar to Hiruzen, not in canon, in this Hiruzen, actually, like an actual caring person. Obviously, he would not hate Naruto. And so Naruto would have to live with this lifestyle, with almost everyone hating him. But there are still a few people that like him. And in this timeline, with him not being, well, an orphan, as everyone from the outside thinks that Kakashi just adopted this random Uzumaki child. Well, the last one, but still random. And so, quite a few people would actually not hate Naruto to the degree that they did in canon. I mean, Kakashi is very respected in the village, and now that he's not an Anbu anymore, but an actual shinobi, now by the way, he is a Jonin already, he was respected especially amongst any shinobi. Any Chunin that would have normally hated Naruto and even tried to beat him up or anything like that, would now kind of have to respect him. Kakashi was a ninja legend, and so his son would have to be treated at least somewhat like a human. So in short, Naruto's beatings aren't as bad as in canon, keep that in mind. But he is still hated. Obviously he loves ramen to death, and so him and Kakashi would go there quite often. With Ichiraku obviously also having pity for Naruto, and sometimes even giving him a free meal. Though Kakashi being a shinobi and actually earning money, he would pay for it 99% of the time. Except sometimes on Naruto's birthday or something like that. But except for eating or sometimes going out with Kakashi for even some training honestly, just having fun, going to the playground, except for those times, usually with Kakashi, Naruto didn't go out that much. Sure, he liked the fresh air, liked the wind, the grass, the sunsets. He loved watching sunsets. But the villagers really disliked him. And so maybe it was better for him to stay inside. At least that was his thought process. And for quite a while, at least for him, it worked. Until one day, he met a boy named Sasuke. Now, they were both only at the age of 6 right now, so no Chia Massacre just yet, though tensions were rising. But luckily Sasuke didn't know anything about that, and so Naruto having been introduced to Sasuke as well as the other way around, obviously Mikoto knowing who Naruto was, just from his facial features as well as his hair, he could clearly see that that was Minato and Kushina's kid. It was clear as day, and she was wondering how no one else had noticed. But she kept quiet, though did ask Kakashi to confirm, and he did. And so she was very happy when Naruto and Sasuke played. And Mikoto thought to herself that if Kakashi hadn't adopted Naruto, perhaps she would have. But that's only if she knew that this was actually Minato and Kushina's son. If not, well, she already had two sons, and that's quite the challenge already. Especially in an Uchiha household where people always off each other. No, like I'm actually serious though. People in the Uchiha clan always kill each other. Like, like bro, they never get a breather. I think that's why the families in the Uchiha clan don't have that many children. Because they're just gonna get oofed. Like, damn. Anyways. So, now Naruto and Sasuke having a good friendship. They play together basically every day, and Naruto is much more happy to go outside. Sasuke, obviously not as depressed and emo, isn't too cool to play with Naruto, and so they became best friends. And basically Naruto's best memories were all with Sasuke. Sure there were some very good ones with Kakashi, but an adult is just different. Having someone his own age is incredible, and so... They became even closer. They were basically brothers at this point. Sure, she really loved Tachi, but 
Naruto wasn't too close to Ichachi, though they did talk thing, and so they never really got to bond the way that Naruto and Sasuke are. Naruto wasn't too close to Ichachi, though they did talk sometimes, when Itachi just kind of joined the kids' conversations. Obviously, he was only 12, I think. No, 11. I think 11 or 12. I'm not sure when his birthday is. Yeah, I think it was 11. I don't know. But yeah, he wasn't too much older. And all of this would actually become very welcome to Kakashi. He had kind of worried that Naruto wouldn't make too many friends, especially with the village mostly hating him. With Naruto getting close to Sasuke, he also got closer to some of the other Uchiha kids, as all of them kind of faced something similar to Naruto. Sure, they weren't openly hated, but the Uchiha were always a little disregarded. They were kind of outsiders, even though they lived in the same village as all the others. The Uchiha were different, and so Naruto was able to bond with all the kids much more than the other Konoha kids, but eventually he started opening up to other kids his age, but sadly they didn't receive it so well as the Uchiha kids did. Well, the kids did, but well, their parents didn't. Their parents told them to never hang out with that kid again. People like Sakura's parents, Shikamaru's parents, and even Choji's parents who were usually laid back. And so Naruto just continued to hang out with the Uchiha kid. But that's going to be it for episode 1. I really hope you enjoyed this, as there is definitely more coming. And so, I will see you next time. Bye.